KH Sports with Logan Whaley. It's a busy time of the year for Arkansas State football. The Red Wolves are balancing recruiting along with preparing for a bowl game. The Red Wolves will meet Northern Illinois in the Camellia Bowl. It will be a matchup of two teams on the upswing. The teams are just two of seven in all of college football who won three games last season and are going bowling this year. A state held a press conference today. Players talked about what playing in a bowl game means to them. Yeah, I mean, obviously, six and six and going to a bowl game isn't the, the end goal and the end result, but it's definitely progress from where we've been in the last couple of years. Um, for those of you who have, I mean, you've kind of seen been following along, it's been, it's been a brutal couple of years here, winning two games, winning three games. So to be able to get to the postseason, postseason that's an amazing opportunity for us. That's an amazing feeling, you know. Uh, being six and six is not the end goal. You know, uh, we want more for sure, you know what I'm saying? But just being able to see everything coming into fruition is, is amazing. You know, being here three years and just seeing everything just switch. You know, the, the spark in the program, everybody wants it. Everyone's hungry, you want more. So it's just an amazing feeling. Linebacker Javante Mackey has entered the transfer portal. The redshirt freshman was second on the team in tackles with 84. He had seven tackles for a loss and two sacks. According to his social media pages, he's received offers from Memphis, South Carolina, Mississippi State, and Miami. Between the transfer portal and injuries, I asked Butch Jones today if he expects everyone to be available for the bowl game. You know, I do. Um, you know, there'll be a few exceptions as the portal opens up, um, which is expected, and that's kind of the world of college football, but in terms of our health and our status, you know, this is very well needed. Uh, we were a pretty uh, beat up football team going in the last game at Marshall, so to be able to have that time to get back in the training room is big. So all the individuals that had injuries, we fully anticipate they'll be available for the bowl game. Foreseen any unforeseen circumstances, I expect most of our team to be intact. That last statement from Jones indicates he doesn't expect too many additional portal entries. A fully healthy Red Wolves team means to expect Jacob Bayer and running back Zach Wallace back for the offense for the Camellia Bowl game.